What's up, ladies? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Fits here to talk a little bit about the Dell Latitude uh, 3560. I've had a few days to play with this thing. I've done, I put it through its rounds. I've uh, browsed a whole lot of Reddit with it, did some YouTube and, and uh, put it through some paces. Yeah, so the Dell Latitude 3560. Let's go through the specs on this thing, first of all. It's a 15.6 inch screen. I got an i3 uh, 550U, four gigabytes of RAM and this 500 gig hard disk drive. Anyways, uh, DDR3, SDRAM, it comes with one four gig stick. Of course, the hard drive, thank God, is 7200 RPM. Uh, Intel HD graphics, uh, 550. I love the speakers on this thing. I gotta say, I've come through a lot of laptops and uh, the speakers definitely have bass. It's nice and thick. Actually, that's part of the thing about this unit. It is relatively thick, but it's pretty light at the same time which is, again, very nice. Clock speed is two gigahertz, and it's a good system, I gotta say. Pretty much all around, I'm gonna open it up and take a look at what's on the inside. Of course, it has a camera on it, you got every camera on everything. Um, 15 and a half uh, inch, like I said, comes with Windows 7, cute little battery compartment. Let's get a close up here so you can have a closer look at it. So here we got the system, none the worse for wear. Got a little bit of uh, dust on it. And we're gonna open her up. So one thing you might notice pretty quick is there's no backlit LED, but honestly, they feel really good. All of the keys feel really nice. Let's see what we got on this sucker. Okay, so over on this side, we got a uh, SD card reader, autofocus, get the light in there. Maybe I should point it towards the daylight. <laughs> VGA, thank God for VGA. There's people out there saying we don't need VGA. You know what? VGA has been around a long time, but we still do need it. I'm sorry, I'm not living in some rich part of California where we get to all the newest, newest and latest everywhere. Thank God we also have the HDMI that uh, makes three USB ports total. They look like 2.0. You know, all you need is that little blue piece of plastic. That makes it 3.0. Yep, -er. and uh, Cat5, thank God. Power and headset headset kind of like the headset not always my favorite thing but pretty cool all right so let's have a quick little look at the specs the uh, processor gets 6.5 memory is 5.5 graphics are 5.0 game graphics 6.5 primary hard disk 5.9 not bad honestly i haven't experienced a lot of lag on this thing i put it through some paces but i haven't exactly put it through crisis or anything like that I gotta say, if you're just looking for a system that's just for Facebook, for YouTube, this is perfect. This is fine. You could even do some minor CAD work on this thing, definitely, all day long. Um, it definitely isn't the most powerful, but it is impressive for a new system. I think the thing is about, about 600 bucks uh, US, and it seems pretty sturdy. It actually feels really sturdy. I've come across a lot of Acer systems that feel really flimsy, and I almost feel like if I hold it with one hand, I'll be breaking something. This definitely feels... Nicer and solid. I like the Dell. I like Lenovo. I would like uh, Lenovo better than Dell if it wasn't for that huge super fish virus back in the day where basically Lenovo was making it so instead of seeing a certain person's advertisements, you'd be saying, seeing an advertisement from someone who paid them money to be showing you advertisements. So they really shouldn't have done that. That was a really sad. And because of that, a lot of famous people like Eli the Computer Guy prefer Dell. Dell is a pain in the butt, but they... Uh, they're still making relatively good systems. And while a lot of people might have had issues with certain systems from a manufacturer, you should know that every manufacturer has some bad systems. Anyways, let's see if I can take this thing apart. Just like that, that's all you need to see. That's basically all you need to play with right there. Got your hard drive right there. Got your RAM, got your Wi-Fi. That's basically all you'll need. I don't really want to dig any deeper. Check out the motherboard. But yeah, that's how you open it up to change your RAM and to take a look at your hard drive. That's perfect. I, you know, I got an Acer downstairs that I do a lot of my work with that I got to separate the whole keyboard from if I want to change anything up. But this lets you see exactly what you need. Doesn't let you see things you don't. Even a noob could fix this. Really, I wish my Acer was put together this nicely anyways that's it for me Nev's from nev's tech bits like and subscribe if you like this stuff i always appreciate it and brain if you're listening remind your husband game time's a date have a good one folks Bye bye